Hey guys, it's me, Ray91, and I'm talking about the Nintendo Mini Direct. Now, for those you don't know, Nintendo surprised this kind of just yesterday with this Mini Direct. So, if you didn't watch it, spoiler alert. Let's start right off the bat. Xenoblade Chronicles. And it's a remaster, and let's face it, we're kind of in a time right now of remasters, so it's not surprising that they're bringing this game to the Switch. But what is surprising is that they actually are bringing new content. To me, that is how you remaster a game. Don't just bring out the game with better graphics. Bring it out and bring give us something new, and that's what they're doing. They're giving a new story called Future Connection, and, and, and that, to me, it gives us more reason to go out and buy the game. It's not just Xenoblade Chronicles that was on the Wii with better graphics. They actually added in a whole new story, which is pretty cool. Another part I liked about the Direct was the fact that 2K came out and announced some of their games for it, like Bioshock and Borderlands. So like, people have been saying that Borderlands, I think, was going to make its way to the Switch for a long time, and finally it's here. So, that's pretty good. And then there was some indie games, such as Good Job. That actually looks interesting. It's like where you either can do a good job, you're working at your dad's company, I believe, or you could mess with things, and it seems like both maybe gives you points, so it's... Pretty cool that it's kind of like how you want to play. Do you want to play it straightforward, actually doing the job, or do you want to actually just do a terrible job, I guess? It's up to you. Then there was Ninjala. Now, this game, I believe, was first shown on the sizzle reel back in the 2017 E3, I believe. And then we, like, heard nothing about it for over two years. And now, finally, it's saying, oh, yeah, it's coming out this year. And I'm like, oh, okay, finally. Because this game, I think, was shown so long ago, and it just seemed to, like, not come out for some reason. But what was surprising is that this is going to be a free-to-play, eight-player Battle Royale style, seemingly, and then you got 4v4s as well. I think they called it Battle Royale, but to me, it kind of seems more like an 3D brawler. So that's what I would more associate it with. But it does look fun, and it's free-to-play, so I probably will try it out. And then the day ended with Pokemon. Now... This announcement was kind of disappointing. Yes, I did kind of like that they showed that you could choose either water or darkness, and whichever one you chose would base the fighting style of that new Pokemon you get. But to me, most of this wasn't necessary. I mean, we already know the Isle of Armor is coming out first, and I don't think we needed to be told these things. So I don't think ending with that Pokemon announcement really was the best way to end the Direct. But the Direct was good in general. The game announcements looked pretty good, and once again, we got some shadow drops. I think at least one game was available, like, yesterday when the Direct came out, and Nintendo likes to do that in their Directs. They like to be like, hey, it's available now. Also, there's a lot of demos. A lot of these new games, I think, that were announced have demos that came out yesterday, so if you guys want to try them out, go do that. So all in all, it was a good and welcome Direct, and it is good to see, especially during this time of COVID-19, that Nintendo is... Show, still showing these directs and we're still getting game announcements and whatnot though i still look forward to a full-on direct this one was a good direct but it was a direct mini so hopefully maybe next month maybe the month after i don't know we'll get a full-on direct with more big game announcements but what did you guys think about this nintendo direct mini let me know in the comments below thanks for watching and subscribe may god bless you all